We all strive to capture stunning portraits with beautifully blurred backgrounds, often referred to as bokeh, right? However, some photos may lack that professional touch due to a lack of blurred background. Achieving a blurred background depends on various factors including camera settings and equipment. Typically, if you want to achieve a blurred background effect in your camera, you need an expensive lens. Expensive lenses usually offer wider apertures and better optical quality which contribute to achieving shallow depth of field and a smoother background blur. The main reason why we need to blur the background is to focus on the subject. By blurring the background, we can separate the main subject from the surrounding elements. This technique draws attention to the subject and reduces distractions, creating a more visually pleasing image. It ensures that the viewer's focus is on the main subject rather than being pulled towards a cluttered or busy background. But what if your photo looks flat, lacking depth and dimension? In such cases, subject isolation and blurring the background in post-processing can make the subject appear more three-dimensional. This technique adds a sense of depth and make your photos look more dynamic and engaging. In this video, we are going to leverage the power of Photoshop AI to make the process of achieving professional background blur super easy and fast. I will guide you through the simple steps to effortlessly enhance your photos and make them stand out from the crowd. To get started, make sure you are using Photoshop beta. If you haven't downloaded it already, I strongly recommend downloading and installing it from the Adobe Creative Cloud. Once you are in a Photoshop beta, First and foremost, in order to create a visually striking effect of blurred background, we must begin by separating the background from the subject. This step is crucial to ensure that we have a clear distinction between the main subject and its surroundings. We need to select the lasso tool from the Photoshop toolbar. Once selected, we can start drawing a rough selection around the subject in our image. It's very important to note that perfection is not necessary at this stage. Our main goal is to create a general outline of the subject. With the rough selection is in place, then click on generate to fill. This feature utilizes the power of artificial intelligence to intelligently remove the subject from the background and replace it with a clean separate layer. In case you are having the trouble finding the taskbar in Photoshop, don't worry. Click on the window menu, a drop down list will appear. Keep scrolling down until you find an option called contextual taskbar. Once you locate the contextual taskbar option, click on it to enable it. You will notice that a check mark appear next to it. Now simply click on it within the taskbar. Don't input anything. Don't type anything. Just keep it blank and simply click on generate button to initiate the generate to fill process. As soon as you do so, the remarkable power of Photoshop's AI technology comes into play, analyzing the image and skillfully removing the subject from the original background. This automated process saves you precious time and effort that would otherwise be required for manual background removal. Now that the subject has been successfully isolated, you have the opportunity to select one of the three variations generated by the Photoshop AI. Take a moment to assess the options before making your selections. In this case, I like the third option. Afterwards, select the layer mask, right click and delete the layer mask. It's very important to understand that now the subject area is filled with the background. Now let's turn off the background layer to see that only the subject area is filled. We need to fill in the blank areas as well. Turn the layer visibility back on, hold the control or command key, click on the generate to layer to select it then click on inverse to inverse the selection. Now select the background layer and press Ctrl or Command plus J to duplicate it. Now we have the complete background, but you may notice some sharp lines when zooming in. Don't worry too much about them. They will disappear once you merge the two layers. Select both layers, right click and choose merge layers. Let's rename this merged layer to background. Next, select the original background and click on select subject. This will automatically select the subject. Select the new background layer, hold the alt or option key and click on the layer mask. 
Now select the layer thumbnail to make the background gracefully fade into a dreamy blur. Go to filter menu and select blur. Personally, I recommend using the lens blur option from the sub menu. It offers a natural and realistic blur effect that mimics the depth of field produced by a camera lens. If lens blur isn't your preferred choice, you can explore other alternatives like Gaussian blur or tilt shift blur from the same sub menu. Each option has its own unique characteristics. Feel free to experiment and choose the one that suits your needs. Once you have selected the desired blur effect, a dialog box or panel will appear presenting you the with various settings to adjust. These settings allow you to control the intensity, radius or other parameters of the blur effect. Take your time to adjust the settings according to your preferences. You may want to preview the changes in real time. This way you can fine tune the blur effect to achieve the desired outcome. After making the necessary adjustments and achieving the desired blur effect, click OK to apply the blur effect to your image. Look at the background now, it looks so natural and realistic. You can even see the details of the subject hair strands. Thanks to the incredible advancements in the artificial intelligence, Photoshop has achieved a perfect background blur using AI. If you want more blur, simply select the layer thumbnail and add lens blur one more time. This will give you an even smoother and dreamier background. With the background is blur, the subject becomes the main focus of the photograph. It allows you to highlight specific details, expressions or features of the subject without distractions. This is a Especially useful in portrait photography where the person's face or a specific object needs to be emphasized. If you find that any specific details or features of the subject were missed during this process, such as some of the subject's hair, you can use a soft brush with a lowered opacity and flow settings. Paint on those areas with black color to add them back to the subject. That's it friends, take a look at the before and after transformation. With the power of Photoshop AI, you can effortlessly achieve that professional background blur effect and make your photos truly stand out. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future Photoshop tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share and leave your comment. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and happy editing.